Hey guys, Avi here and welcome to part 4 in getting started with Python. Now we left off where we had covered integers, strings, variables, and today we're going to cover a very simple concept of Python, which is known as placeholders. Now hopefully you know what placeholders are. They basically stand for taking the place of something. So let's say I had a friend Jake, okay? I'm going to say name is equal to Jake, okay? And I want to say that today is Jake's birthday, all right? Or Jake is 15 years old. Let's take that. Jake is 15 years old. So one way I could do it is say name plus is 15 years old, right? That That's absolutely fine. Or uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Name is equal to Jake. And then we say name plus is 15 years old. And this works fine, right? We get the sentence, Jake is 15 years old. However, there's an easier way to do this, okay? And that is using these placeholders. We put a placeholder inside a string to refer that, hey, instead of the placeholder, go ahead and put this variable. It could be an integer, it could be another string. Doesn't matter, but every placeholder signifies a specific data type. So let's go ahead and create a variable called sentence and set this equal to is 15 years old. Now, obviously over here, we want to say the name should come and we specify a string placeholder by using percent %s, okay? Cent is equal to percent %s is 15 years old. That's great. Right now, if you print cent, we're going to get percent %s. However, when you use the placeholder syntax, percent s will be replaced by our variable. So go ahead and say send cent percent. So ha, huh, get it, cent percent. And then in brackets, or I think just using name, you should get Jake is 15 years old. Awesome. I could substitute it for anything. I could say cent Avi. I uh, forgot the percent sign. Percent Avi. Hit enter, obviously 15 years old. Basically, you use the percent sign to signify that it is a placeholder. So you say percent %s to signify what type it is and where it should go in the sentence. And then you signify that you want to substitute the value by saying percent and then whatever value you want to substitute it with. Now, I know what you're thinking. What if there's multiple things? Right now, we've only dealt with one. What if there's two variables? Um, Barack Obama is the president of the United States, right? So cent is equal to percent %s, percent %s, Barack Obama, two words, is the president of the US. That's probably going to change in the next six months due to elections, but as of right now, he is the president. And now we can go ahead and set both values by saying cent percent, and then in brackets, both the values separated by comma, Barack, comma, Obama. Hit enter, and we get... Barack Obama is a president in the United States. And you can see how this can be useful, all right? You don't have to use the plus, this string, watch out for the spaces. These placeholders will just be replaced by the variable values. Let's go ahead and talk about integers. What if I want to add an integer, all right? Jake is X years old, except I want to specify both the person and the age. Well, let's go ahead and create a new cent and set it equal to percent %s for the name is percent %d for the integer, all right? S is for string, D is for integer. Percent %s is percent %d years old. So that's our sentence. And now any string and any integer can take place of the percent %s and the percent %d respectively. So let's go ahead and say something like percent %s, uh, percentage in quotation marks for the first one, because obviously we have to refer to uh, percent %s first, we can say, uh, I don't know, Obama, and then let's go ahead and say, I believe he's 50, I'm probably wrong, whatever. Send percent Obama, comma, 50. And now we get Obama is 50 years old. So this is basically what placeholders are. Again, I know this is a short lecture, but I just wanted to touch base on this topic. You have placeholders to take, to be in sentences, to be in variables, which then are replaced by other variables. So you can see how you can use them in different cases. You know, you have to set someone's score. You have to set someone's age. You can use placeholders to do that. Quick recap, percent uh, placeholders are used are created using percent signs, 
Percent %s stands for string, percent %d stands for integer. You can set a placeholder by saying cent or whatever your string with those percentages are, percent sign, and then in brackets. And I can even set this to a variable. I could say cent2 is equal to whatever cent1 is. Uh, let me see if this works. Yes, it does. Or yes. So cent percent Barack Obama, cent2 is equal to this. And it gives me, oh, I'm sorry. I have to, we replaced it. So let's go ahead and put 50. And now if I say cent2, that value has been stored. So placeholders are awesome. Go ahead and play around with them. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.